was on here, I was talking uh, about doping and the Patrick to Pilotu's um, situation uh, and what little we knew about it at the time. So um, it looks like uh, that I was incorrect in saying that they were trying to bury the news um, with such going on. Uh, that the only reason that New Zealand Rugby came out and said anything was because the, that it was going to be broken in the press anyway. So why was it also unclear and did quite a few of us think that way? Well, basically because the situation was that this was, yes it is a banned substance, but it's on what's called the specified substance list, so it's a specified substance, which means specified substance, uh, sorry, reading from the WADA website, a specified substance is a substance which allows under defined conditions for a greater reduction of a two-year sanction when an athlete is to test positive for that particular substance. So it can, they can reduce subs the uh, ban. The purpose is to recognise that it's possible for a substance to enter an athlete's body inadvertently and therefore allow a tribunal more flexibility in making a sanctioning decision. So this is one that can accidentally enter your system, is basically what they're trying to say. Specified substances are not necessarily less serious agents for the purpose of doping than other prohibited substances, and nor do they relieve the athletes of the strict liability rule that makes them responsible for all substances that enter his or her body. So it can still be a pretty serious uh, uh, doping agent, basically, um, of just that there is the chance that this can enter the body uh, accidentally rather than on purpose. Uh, and they go on to say that basically certain stuff, basically you, you, you have to go in on purpose. So that's why there is the confidentiality around this one. Now, what I say is that uh, Sporting bodies can choose to either suspend or not to suspend while they do their investigations. Now, World Rugby um, have decided that they w that they will propose provisional suspensions uh, for these kind of substances uh, straight away um, during the um, during the investigation. Now, for me, so I say it looks like New Zealand have, New Zealand Rugby weren't allowed to uh, come out and say anything because of the confidentiality. I do still think that they could have um, said more though when they did come out and say something this weekend. They could have explained what specified substances were um, and why there's confidentiality around it. Um, and whilst it's still on the major news websites in New Zealand, it's not on news. There's nothing that I can find on New Zealand Rugby's Union's website themselves. So you're still going off what news agencies are saying uh, and what you're seeing in tweets. Uh, rather than actually official state, rather than clear, uh, clearer official statements from New Zealand Rugby Union, and that means that they're not leading the story, um, and which is why we have this confusion uh, that we have going on now. I think basically that what we're seeing here is that this process is not fit for purpose. Um, to have a situation where a player can't play, um, and but is there's confidentiality, uh, confidentiality around why they can't play. Uh, just makes everything look um, dodgy. Unfortunately, well not dodgy, but just looks strange and we just don't know what's going on. Unfortunately, sports um, sporting organisations have lost the right um, to the benefit of the doubt uh, over the last couple of years. Uh, just got to look at the mess that FIFA's in, um, the way that uh, cy cycling didn't handle uh, Lance Armstrong's uh, era and the doping in cycling there, to understand that we just, that the uh, the sporting bodies don't have the benefit of the doubt anymore. They've got to not only just do the right thing, they've got to be seen to do the right thing, um, and they've got to let people, um, and that means we have to have transparency, and we've got to have people um, seeing these things. So I was wrong um, about the uh, about New Zealand Rugby having to try, try and bury this news um, as stuff which is the major um, news site here in New Zealand said. We are used to them stonewalling, so it's not an it's, so it's not a surprise that myself and other people felt they were um, trying to uh, tr trying to bury it. Uh, and I think that two months is a long time uh, for this something like this to go on for, without there being some kind of news and some uh, ability to say something. So this process, in, in, so in summary, World Rugby needs to work with Wada and figure out how and, and sort out this process because this process is not fit for purpose. Um, we can't have people being suspended uh, for, for, and, and for people not to be able to see why it just leads to conspiracy theories like mine yesterday uh, and to people just not uh, not knowing what's going on and 
sporting bodies need to be more transparent than that. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll be um, and thank you for supporting me. Uh, please do uh, become a patron. Uh, have a look at my Twitter feed for information on that and support me to bring you more rugby opinions uh, and um, and reports uh, throughout the year. Cheers, guys.